G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. We just did a massive live for our team. I woke up today at 4 a.m. Crazy. Like, it's worth it, but it's crazy. Um, here's my natural, my instant reaction to just watching the game. Also, shout out to everyone in the chat who came to the live stream today. It was fantastic. Uh, near 40 odd people. Uh, thank you everyone who, who did the super chats and, and stuff like that. The support is unreal, unbelievable. Uh, you guys are awesome. But my instant reaction is, here's my first take. I still believe, actually, I think you move on from Canada. I think before the buy, you have to have, you cut him, you, you fire him, you bring someone else in, you go with Glenn Thomas, you use it, use the same playbook, I don't care. You call better players at different times. I think you do fire him. So all week we're going to see that. Um, but shout out to the Steelers, man. The Steelers played a hard game. It was, a, it was an ugly game, a good win. Well, ugly good win, but it wasn't pretty for three quarters, man. Uh, so I think you move on from Canada at the same time. I can't control that. We can't control that. Uh, so you know what? Kenny Pickett didn't play very well. Um, the standouts in this game for me were Warren. Fantastic. Feed that guy the ball. Give Warren the ball. I still like Najee. I'm still trying to be on the Najee train as best I can. I think he does some good plays. He does get, you know... Um, there's times where he doesn't see the field, the vision's not there. There are other times where he gets the football and runs eight yards. So I like that stuff. But when you see Warren in the game, he's just a he's a he's a he's a, he's a new pace back, he's a fresh, you know, um just a fresh player. The way he plays and, and grinds and and runs and turns his body and his legs, never stops moving. He's a football player. Uh, also, shout out to Connor Haywood too. I think he had a good game. I know there was a fumble with Gunner, Gunner as well. Dude, Gunner ran, in, ran into Haywood. They came back. There was a collision, fumble. Next minute, we had Lamar Jackson move down the field, and it was a JPJ interception, right? The offense is very poor. Very poor. Like, Chris Boswell scored two field goals. We had a safety. Uh, we had a TD and to Pickens, Kenny Pickett to Pickens, 41 yarder. That was crazy to see too. But our offense is very poor, very slow. Um, nothing's working. Critical downs. You just see sec you see a run, second and ten. So the Steelers, they played tough. D did they win because of Canada? No. Did they win because of coaching overall? So where does the credit go? Um, I still I still hear the the rumblings that the, the Everyone's hearing the fire kind of the chance, so we won't talk about that. But overall, I think the the game was a, a pretty good game near the end to get the victory to win 17. And then you also got to shout out the Ravens, man. You guys, dude, your fan base would be absolutely on fire right now because you had seven drops, eight drops. Harbaugh caught a fourth and one. They snapped the football. It, that went into dirt. They should have got three points. There could have been times where the Ravens should have beaten us by 28 to 30 points. Really? Really should have done that. Uh, Lamar Jackson got fumbled near the end, got sacked a few times by TJ Watt, uh, was inconsistent with his passing. Lamar Jackson threw a pass to the end zone when they should have won that game. We gifted them a TD. We gifted them a chance to win. And then they got a pick a pick by JPJ. So it was diff it was difficult, I think, to watch most of the game. Um, is this team a Super Bowl team? No. Is this team a, a playoff team? No. If the team makes the playoffs, can they win the first week? No. So there are a lot of no's, but we got the victory. And if the Bengals lose today, they got one on four. Uh, people talked about the Steelers being the, 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 the toughest. The AFC North was the toughest division in the uh, – sorry. The AFC North was the toughest division in the NFL. Not really. It's inconsistent. Um, there are some hard-hitting guys here, but – our secondary is weak too. Some, some negatives. Our secondary is so weak. Uh, Levi Wallace, I think, changes it at the bye. You got to start. You got to play JPJ more. You have to. He plays better man. He plays better coverage than these guys. Uh, you need to give Peterson maybe a different role. I don't know. Middle linebackers, they played okay too, but they're getting burnt. Uh, the wide receivers for the Ravens were just wide open, right? Let me go to a few stats and just see them. So. They had 173 yards receiving. Zay Flowers carved us up to. Uh, Patrick Peterson called him a little munchkin this this week. They keep giving the other team bullet, bulletin ball material. Lamar Jackson can't beat the Steelers. He's one and three now against the Steelers. He had one interception, four sacks. 
Uh, Kenny Pickett was pretty, I'm not going all over the shop, but it's my natural reaction. Kenny Pickett was 18, 32, 24, one TD, seven yard average needs to be higher. Actually, Kenny Pickett had a better day. Looks like he had a, he had a better day than Lamar Jackson. So that's what that is. Joel Moran was 4.440 yards, 87. George Pickens with a big run, 16. He played well too. George Pickens played really well with that catch down the sideline. He, George Pickens had a big day. Six receptions, 130, 21-yard average, one TD. Wait until we get DJ back. Once DJ comes back, this offense should be moving, um, should be coming, you know, uh, firing on all cylinders. Uh, Darnell Washington too, shout out to the O-line. Darnell and also Broderick Jones worked well together along with C. Milo. They ran to the left. They pushed those blokes forward. They had a bit more room to run Najee. Uh, Mason Cole, I think, struggled as well when I saw him play at center. He was always on the back foot. He saw some inconsistent play from Nate Herbig too. And Trukes was just the guy. I think Trukes is always just there. He either plays good, average, or sometimes bad. But Trukes was okay. Uh, Robinson had five catches for 29. Tell him Warren, man, he, he stood up, turned out, right? So my guys were Warren, Pickin, fantastic. Uh, we didn't see much of Calvin Austin. I think he was injured early. Holcomb had nine tackles. Minka had nine. Uh, one sack corner, Alexander. TJ Watt is fantastic. He he's a, he is the guy that finished games. Two sacks near the end. Highsmith had a sack too. A few holding calls right near the end as well. Um, but this came down to was poor offense. Uh, sorry, Chris Boswell had three field goals. I, that's right, three field goals. Yep. Chris Boswell had three field goals, nine points. We had a safety which was 11 and then six points for the TD. And they didn't, they went for the two point conversion, didn't get it right. So overall, that's uh, pretty much my natural instant reaction to the team. Uh, still as AFC North uh, leaders right now, three and two. They've won two games in the division. The Browns have the bye. We have one over the Ravens. This team is not at all, not at all set, not all prepared. Um, Going to be a lot of conversation now through the bye week. Should they keep Canada? You know, I'll try and keep that to a minimum as best we can. I'll try and relate on on notable sources and not just rumors. But we're going to talk about Canada a lot this week. Talk about the offense, what needs to change, and players coming back. Uh, but overall, I think it's good to get a win to win and correct. And the Steelers got 700 wins um, all time, 700. So for postseason and regular season. Anyways, guys, hope you guys leave some good comments in there and see what's up. And um, you know, thank you for checking out Steel Nation Australia. That's pretty much my natural reaction. We can't do it easy, can we? We can't do it easy at all. We just can't do it easy. It's not a stealer game unless it ends like that. All right, guys, I'll see you later.